All right, so we have here the first marker at my carrier frequency at 7240, and this is a delta. So if we go up here to the peak, since it's lower sideband, this is gonna be low frequency response, and up here is gonna be high frequency response. This is an average of 100 readings, and it's the same if I do Mac peak hold. Uh, comes out about the same. So I did some EQing on the radio here. So first EQ, 200 hertz, minus 10, uh, very broad, band with zero. The flatten it out to start with. And then I've had a little peak at about 1,000 hertz, so minus three, broad again, zero. Then to emphasize the high frequency, 3,200 hertz, plus four, uh, bandwidth two and that kind of flat that gave me this nice flat curve and from the carrier point back over here at 7240 this this frequency right here in Hertz is going to be frequency response so without normalizing this and zeroing this out we have 12.2 dB so let's just say from 12 dB let's go down 3 dB down so 3 dB down about 9 dB is about uh, 60 about 65 hertz or so is the low frequency response, which is perfect, <clears throat> which is fine. And then if we go down to like 40 hertz, we're down 6 dB, which is excellent. So it does transmit down to uh, 40 hertz and, and even some energy down there, 27 hertz. And this is this is pink noise from um, from my uh, generator here, and I'm bypassing. Go to IO. Uh, I have two zero bypass. So I'm bypassing my parametric EQ on the right channel. The right channel is the only channel I'm using parametric EQ. We go back to IO. I'm generating pink noise output into the radio. So this is a pink noise plot. So back to the frequency response. So it, it's got energy down to 40 hertz and it's really decent. My minus three dB bandwidth down to uh, 60 hertz. Now on the high end, we can see it kind of floating around here. By the way, this is 5 dB per division, so it's zoomed in a little bit. So this is really a pretty damn flat curve. So let's zoom up here. This is, again, frequency response. Since this is a delta from my carrier point. Here is 2.6, 2.8. There's 3 kilohertz right there, and it's still pretty well flat. So on the high side, it does roll off a little bit. There's 3.1. And again, from let's just take this point right here, which is about 12 dB. So let's go down to 9 dB. That's 3.2, a little over 3.2 kilohertz, 3 dB down, and 10 dB down. We'll see our 5 dB down is going to be about 3. Point, uh, real close to 3.4. And then it rolls off quickly uh, beyond there. So at 3.6, we're down pretty far. So now, see if I can bump this edge up here a little bit with the uh, parametric EQ, just push it just a little bit and see what I can get. 